it's bunny here welcome to my sacred space of love and healing we are going to do your november love read and see what's going on with you all right i've already cleansed um the area with some sound healing that was such a crappy shuffle let's try that again <sighs> looks like i have sage everywhere <laughs> mm. I say it more often. All right, what do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries for November? Now remember that this is a timeless read, so whenever you find it, it's for you. Um, I'm just focusing on the energy of right now, okay? So, because we are in November, so. But all of my readings are timeless, so whenever you find them, they are for you. All right, what does Aries need to know? Just a bit. Your girl is multitasking. I got shells in the oven. <laughs> Doing a video in between. Ooh, Aries. We got ten of pentacles. Somebody is wanting to start a... Well, let's see. To me, it seems like someone wants to start a family with you, but we'll, let's, we're going to keep going. This is the happy family card, right? Wow. Okay. We have nine of pentacles. We have 10 of pentacles and nine of pentacles back to back. So Aries, right away, I can tell you're in this beautiful, oh my God, and two of cups. Oh, you can't make it up. Yes, Aries. I love this for you. I get so excited when we get really great ratings like this. Okay, because you know I love to be the bearer of good news. Okay, so you are in this really beautiful energy, Aries. You're focused on yourself. You're focused on your what sets your soul on fire. You're glowing. You're absolutely radiant right now. You're you're just radiating this beautiful energy because you're focused on you know, your growth, your career, and building the life of your dreams. And this beautiful energy is just drawing in your person right now that is on your mind into you like a magnet. Oh my gosh. We have the Ten of Pentacles is literally the happy family card. So it's like, if you have kids, they're going to want to raise your kids if they have kids, you're going to be raising their kids. You guys are going to be so freaking happy. It's a, it's the card of happy family, but also of extended family. I mean, look at that. We got a male, a female, the, the kid in between, and then other kids over here. So it's like your kid, their kids, all playing. You even have the freaking Labrador, golden retriever, whatever, Labrador, Labradoodle. Whatever it is, right? You got it, Aries. Everything. And then plus you have the riches. Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles is about abundance and wealth. And look. You have the Two of Cups. So this is not a crappy connection, Aries. This connection, this new connection that you're in right now, this connection... If you had any doubts about this person, don't have any doubts. This is your person. My two of cups cards is my twin flame card. Okay. All right. We're going to get two more cards from this stack and we're moving on. Oh my gosh. That is phenomenal. Look at that. Seven of wands. See, this connection is going to be so good. That you're going to have so many haters coming out of the woodworks. They're going to be like, oh, who the hell do they think they are? Like they're happy, blah, 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 blah. But you know what? Here's the deal. You guys have done the spiritual work. You and your person have busted your butt to get where you are. So you're allowed to be up on that high ass pedestal looking down at all the haters and say, uh-uh, you are not taking this from me. Because you know what? I earned this love. Ooh, it's going to make so many people jealous, Aries. And you know what? But it's it's so great because you're you're a fire sign. So you're just going to tell them to fuck off, right? Fuck off. Kindly of fuck off. <laughs> What's the final message for Aries? What is the final? Oh, shh. 
Shukazuli. <laughs> Dropping stuff. Yeah, so this, this new connection, this connection you're in right now, I keep saying new, but it's, it might not be new. This connection, it's going to cause a lot of drama because people are going to be like, oh, who did I think they are? But look it, there it is. It's justice. And it's also number 11. There's another symbol that's this twin flame. Okay. Justice. You're getting what you deserve. And oh my God, Aries, this has been such a long time coming. You have done so much spiritual work. You have busted your butt and did your shadow work. Look at that. You faced your shadow and now you're coming out the enlightened, beautiful, spiritual being that you know you are. Look at that. So this relationship is what you deserve, Aries. Don't you let anybody try to take that away from you. I just heard you're a rainbow warrior. Oh my God, the energy is amazing. I can't even, I don't even know. I don't even want to put pill any more cards. <laughs> I'm going to pull some romance angels cards. Incredible. Just incredible. And it was 616 on my camera just now. Six is the number of spiritual growth. Oh my gosh. What else do we have for Aries and the Romance Angels, please? What do we got for Aries? What do the Romance Angels want us to know? See, finances and careers. Financial issues are a factor in your love right, life right now. So I feel like, I don't feel like it's a bad issue. This is what I feel like, Aries. I feel like your finances are going to boom as soon as you meet this person. It's like, it's weird because I feel like financially you're not really doing super bad, but you're not really doing super good either. But something about when you and this person get together, it's going to unlock like abundance for both of you. You know what I'm saying? It's because you're both going to be so freaking happy. You know what I mean? Like, not that I'm not saying that you're not happy now, but I'm saying you're going to be more happy. So see, you're freeing yourself from, oh my gosh, you're freeing yourself from the limiting beliefs, from the belief that you are not lovable. You are starting to understand what your worth is, Aries. It's time to take back control of your life. This says for yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. And you're doing that, okay? You're no longer the beautiful unicorn that people look at from far away and go, oh, I wish I had that unicorn. Because you're freeing yourself from the cage and you're like, yup, this unicorn is ready to be seen. I'm not staying behind this fence or this cage anymore. This unicorn is free. There's an energy of liberation. And with that is coming your great love. You got your bottom dollar. Watch, watch, watch. Look, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. It's on the way. Are you ready though? Are you ready for it? I'm going to do a healing card for you, Aries. These readings are going to be short and sweet. So I'm going to keep them really short and sweet. Because a lot of y'all have an attention span of like a goldfish. So <laughs> not that that's a bad thing. But I notice the shorter my reads are, you know, the more people like them. And a lot of people have requested shorter videos. So we're going to give the people what they want, Aries. All right. What else do we have for my beautiful fire sign, Aries? Plus my dinner is going to be done in like 18 minutes. So <laughs> all right. What else do we got for Aries? Wow, look at that. I told you you were going through a huge transformation. 25, alchemy. Come in. Well, you won't stop cutting Hold up on. these cards. Ooh, okay, sorry about that, Aries. We had a, a little minor crisis. <laughs> All right, so I told you you're going through a huge transformation, Aries. You've managed to alchemize the negative emotions. Anything, so basically... Anything that negative that comes your way, it just bounces right off of you because you know how to transform it into light. You're unstoppable. You transmute everything that hits you. So for instance, you know, you have something bad that happens. 
it comes in and literally you transform it into a positive, okay? And because of that, you are incredibly powerful. Nothing can stop you right now at this moment. It's also number seven, 25. Add five and two, it's seven, which means you're incredibly lucky at this time. Unbelievable. There is so much good energy right now coming off of my beautiful Aries. I love you guys. All right, we're going to do three of these cards, and then we're going to do a um, Akashic Record card for y'all. We're going to call it a read. woo Aries. I hope you're ready for the next phase of your life because it looks like really good things are coming in for you guys. I'll pull one card for your career, too, just to see what's going on. What else we got for Aries? Travel. Ooh, so some of y'all are going to be doing some traveling, Aries. Roll the dice. Woof. Some of you are going to be traveling to the casino. Look at that. Or in that area, Las Vegas, Nevada. Spirit is telling you to take a chance on yourself. Because look, there's the hookup. If some of you are planning on traveling somewhere, right? Roll the dice on yourself, basically, okay? Take that chance because look, it's going to lead... To something under the covers, secret lovers. <laughs> oh my God. And look what was on the bottom of the deck, healing. It's because you've done your healing work. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to do one more card, which is an Akashic Record card. Let's look into the Akashic Record of you and your person. And because this is a collective energy field read, but, you know, well, you know, it's, it's not a personal reading for someone. It's for the collective. We can go ahead and tap into these Kashuk records. You can only do that if you're doing a collective read, by the way. If someone says they can access your Akashic records without your permission, they're lying. You, you have to give them permission to do that, okay? But since this is a collective read... I learned from my Akashic teacher, Julian Jenkins. He's amazing. He also has a YouTube channel if you want to check it out. Um, his name is Julian Jenkins. And he taught me my Akashic Records class. He, taught an, he teaches an Akashic Records class. And it was phenomenal. Okay. And that's where I learned to tap into the collective. All right, 44, Wealth and Abundance. Holy crap, Aries. I told you, oh my God, you just hit the jackpot. You and your person are going to create some kind of like mogul type business together. <laughs> oh my God. And number seven, again, we have creative writing. So... If you dabble into writing, um, you know, whatever, whatever it is, it's going to be very lucrative, Aries, okay? It's funny, I was going to pull a career card for you, but I don't even need to because they just pulled it for me right here. So if, if some of you, for those of you that are into writing, keep pursuing that because it's going to be very, you're going to make a ton of money. It's going to be very, very um, abundant for you. Okay, you're going to get lots of prosperity. Keep writing your your vlog, your your blogs, your journals, you know, if you're if you were thinking about writing a book, um continue with that poetry, whatever. And luck is on your side right now, Aries. It's amazing. Okay. I think the timer just went off of the food. Is it the food, honey? Okay, so that was perfect timing because the buzzer for the food just went off. This was going to be my last cards for you anyways. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Aries. Um, luck is surrounding you right now at this time. So 
And you also, so the Wealth and Abundance card is number 44. So the angels are guiding you every step of the way to create your greatest timeline. Okay. The Akashic Records are saying if you or your person are going to pursue something in writing, you could even be pursuing it together. Maybe you'll write a book together. I don't know. But it's, your guys' destiny is intertwined because this is a twin flame um, mission, it feels like, right? But if you, specifically you, Aries, if you decide to pursue a career in writing, it's going to be very lucrative. And it might not even be like like writing like writing a book, you know what I'm saying? Something that you write is going to make you a lot of money somehow, some way, okay? So I hope this reading resonated. It was just 15.55 on my phone. No way. Um, if something did resonate, please like and subscribe. And uh, it's completely free. Share with all your Aries friends. I love you all so very much. If you want to book a reading with me, all of my prices are in my description box below. Aries, November is looking really freaking great for you. All right. Talk to you soon. Love you. Bye.